Mary, uh, no. Harley Benton MP100 MIDI Switcher. Let's take it out of the box. What is MIDI? Baby, don't hurt me. I, I don't know. I got a chuckle from the other room. Michelle's up there switching. <laughs> um, if you want to know more about my die and why we guitar players might want a MIDI switcher and all the good things that you can do with MIDI, like switching an angle amp or a rev amp uh, or a, a Strymon pedal or many things, don't watch this video. There's a brilliant video on the Mellow Audio uh, MIDI switcher, which is actually the same thing, just Harley Benton rebranded it, uh, on Colin Scott's channel, CS Guitars. Watch his video on MIDI, where he shows you the Mellow Audio and shows you what he can do with it, with the angle. He explains all the ins and outs of what MIDI actually is. So that makes it a lot easier for me to make this video. Watch Colin's video, then come back to me. Maybe people should turn on subtitles, though. On Colin's video, yeah, you might need subtitles. I don't know the, if the subtitles actually can help you. <laughs> now you know what MIDI is, because you've watched Colin's video. It's numbers that control things. It doesn't make a sound. It actually just switches things. This is really solidly built. It's relatively lightweight. And this is primarily built as a one device switcher. What does it mean? Well, usually... Um, MIDI can have 16 channels, meaning I take my device A and I say, you're channel one and device B, you're channel two, and then my amp, you're channel three. And then I should be able to tell the MIDI switcher, um, if I click this, something happens on device one because it's on channel one. And this will send something on channel three to make the volume different with continuous controllers. There's program changes and continuous controllers. Um, and... Clicky number three will change device number two and uh, change it to a different program. Now, this cannot do that. This is meant to be the one control solution for a single device or several devices on the same channel, meaning they will all react to the MIDI message. Um, a good indication why this is meant for one device is the presets. And I can show you how you switch presets, which is by turning it on and holding a, a certain button down. And then you can see, you can do uh, bias effects. Uh, you can do jam up, I think, which is also an app. So it's, it can switch apps. Um, you can see how it e easily, when you go to the bias setting, uh, can switch presets on the bias um, app. Then um, you can also set it to camper mode. Uh, atomic amplifier mode and uh, axe effects mode, which means it becomes a cheaper solution to switch your camper because the camper uh, floorboards are rather expensive. Uh, the axe effects one's also rather expensive. So if you just want to switch presets uh, and some functions on your axe effects camper, whatever, this has presets for it. Now you can go to a custom mode in which you can define what program change and continuous controller is sent. Actually, program change, I'm not even sure. But what continuous controller is sent. But in custom mode, the whole board is defaulting to one MIDI channel. Meaning you can't say, this is going to device one, this is going to device two. It's all going to the same channel. You have to know this if you want a more full-featured MIDI controller, which this is not. This is really cool, small, and convenient, but primarily for a single device. Then there's also the PC8 times, I think it's called... Um, mode, which uh, oh, I can show you how you switch to that. And that simply gives you eight different presets right available. The normal mode is four presets, and then the upper buttons actually send continuous controllers. So you can say, go to this preset, bam, there's my preset, and let's say, depending on how the how device works, turn a specific function on and off, change volume to 
whatever value. So you have four different parameters that you can send, which is also kind of neat. So there is some customization, but not up to the degree that a fully featured, much more expensive MIDI controller would give you. Um, bank up and down will get you to the next level, uh, the next level of four or eight switches. The um, programming is relatively simple. It always circles around holding down the uh, on button. No, holding a button while turning it on, like holding the set will get you into the menu. Holding any of these will go to a different preset. It is primarily meant to be a switcher for your iPad or your Kemper whatever of these. Um, it has two um, expression inputs. An analog expression pedal can, can go in here. It turns that signal into MIDI signals and then sends MIDI expression out of the MIDI. Um, it is fairly simple. It has one MIDI out. The indicator that's very clear that this isn't meant for the pedal aficionado for their pedal board, meaning switching all the different things on a pedal board, is simply that it doesn't even have a 9 volt in. If it was meant for us pedal board people, it would have a 9 volt, which it doesn't. It can be powered with USB, works fine, but on a pedal board you wouldn't have USB power, and it can be powered with batteries, which is kind of neat. So. The general idea, I think, here is throw it on stage right in front of you, have the batteries in, one MIDI cable to your camper, you're done. Hundred and something bucks. So it's great for that. Really good uh, quality. The display is high res. It, it shows you everything you want to know. There isn't a lot you want to know. Um, it shows you two lines for the uh, expression pedal. It works fine. Uh, you have lights here, good visual feedback. It is great quality. If you want a simple MIDI switching device, A, for those pre-programmed devices, or for something where you just need to send program change or a couple of continuous controllers. If you want more in-depth MIDIfication, this little money will not get you that. You need to get a more full-featured device. Um, as far as quality, this is rock solid. I don't think it's gonna fail in any way. I wish it had a nine volt in doesn't, but the batteries will probably last a long time. Um, I haven't tested that. Uh, the only thing that I'm going to bitch about is the feet, which I'm sure, which I'm glad it has them, but uh, they are not rubbery, they're plastic, which means it does... It does slide around, so they don't really help you to keep it on stage where it's supposed to be. Yeah, it, it does move around with those plastic feet. Would be nice if it had more rubber. It might also be an indicator that this is probably good for on your desk at home. And that's the, that's the general idea. Maybe it's not even meant for stage. But I think it, it will absolutely survive the stage. Just put some other rubber on it. So for the money, you're getting quite a bit of value here. If one device is what you want to switch. Melo Audio did a good product, Harley Benton was smart enough to buy a shit ton of them, smack the Harley Benton logo on there, and sell it at a greatly reduced price. So for what this, uh, I, I, how much is it, 120 bucks or something? I'll find out for you. 119 bucks. Yeah. Put it in PC8X mode, eight program changes, you're good. So if you're in the market for something like this and you don't need tons of features, this is it. Link below, uh, Harley Benton paid for this video, this is sponsored by them, uh, but hope I still bitched about enough things so you, that you take me seriously. And uh, I'm gonna go with, there's some, uh, some animals at the end and thanks to Michelle.